Okay, so we're gonna try this again. All right, let's let's try it again. Our production guy called in sick today. Yeah, not available today. So it's me. We're stuck with me doing all the Ugh. the grunt work. All right, yeah. So wait, am I restarting? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is just our predictions for the MLB season and how it's gonna go the regular season. We're not doing playoffs yet. It's a little too early for that one. So I'm gonna do the NL first. I'll start with the NL, then he'll do his NL. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do my AL, and then he'll do his AL. We'll start with the NL West. I have the Rockies, the Diamondbacks, the Giants, the Padres, and then the Dodgers. The Padres and the Dodgers obviously was a really close one. I gave a slight edge to the Dodgers just because the Padres, they made a bunch of good moves. They had a solid year last year. Not a solid year, they were really good last year. But I just gave a slight edge to the Dodgers just because they are the world champions, but at the same time, they did lose uh, Jack Peterson. He didn't do too well last year, but he's still Jack Peterson. He still hits bombs. Yeah. And the Padres did add. They did add you Darvish, Blake Snell. They got, uh, what's his name from uh, the guy of the second baseman? Uh, not in the MLB. He's from overseas. I don't remember which league, but like the Korean league or whatever. Kamikaze Tanaka? Yeah. He's a, he's a right fielder. Yeah, I mean, he's a stud. <laughs> I mean, not those Giants. Not those Giants. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to the Central. I have the Pirates in last. Who doesn't have them in last? The Reds, the Cubs, the Brewers, and the Cardinals. I know the Cub fans aren't going to like that one, but I have explaining to do. We'll put. We'll start with why the Cubs are, are in third. The Cubs are in third because they're the, they're the one of the Cubs, and two, <laughs> their pitching is awful now. They, it was good, and now it's awful. The only good pitcher that they have is Kyle Hendricks. I, I get they brought back Arietta. Yippee. But when it's all said and done, he's not going to produce like he used to. They brought in a couple young, uh, not young pitchers, uh, old pitchers, but they're not going to do much for the Cubs right now because the Cubs are probably should start to retool or even rebuild. And they're talking about trading Bryant. And if you're trying to trade Chris Bryant, who is, when healthy, one of the top players in MLB. When healthy? Yeah, when healthy, which he's made out of glass, so you don't know. Yeah. And then the Brewers, they added uh, Colton Wong. They have Christian Yelich, who had a down year last year. They have Yelich, they have Avi Garcia, former Sox, what a stud. They have Lorenzo Cain coming back this year because he opted out of the uh, season last year. And then we have the Cardinals in first. They got Nolan Arenado, that's their whole offseason. So, I mean, what else do you need to say about them? The East, the Marlins, the Phillies, the Nationals, the Mets, and then the Braves. The Mets and the Braves, that was a tough one. The Mets had a really, really good offseason. They obviously got the Lindor, they got James McCann, but... I still think the Braves are the Braves. They brought back Marcelo Zuna. They have Ozzy Albies, Ronald Lacuna Jr., Freddie Freeman, who won the MVP, Travis Darno. They're stacked. I get that their bull their bullpen uh, might not be great and same with the rotation, but just their offense is so explosive. You can't explosive offense only goes as far as you can go. Look at the White Sox last year. Yeah, that's a good point. But still, the Mets the Mets do have good pitching, obviously, with Noah Syndergaard and Jake DeGrom, who I think is the best pitcher in baseball. So yeah. you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. I don't even have these in order yet. I know Central going from last to first. I have Pittsburgh, then Cincinnati, then Milwaukee, then the Cubs, then, then the Cardinals. Okay. Um, I just feel like the Cubs are going to pull something this year. It was real close between the Cubs and the Brewers, but I think Yelich had an off year last year, and I don't think I've seen a lot of people predict that he's gonna he's like an MVP candidate, and I don't agree with that. I don't think he. Uh, I disagree with you, because he was an MVP candidate two years in a row. Honestly, if he was not honestly, it's just that's the facts. He sucked last year. Well, he sucked the beginning. The end, he started to become the Christian Yelich that we know. That's, <laughs> so. I don't know, we'll see. I think that's gonna be, I think the Cubs are going to overtake the Brewers, I do. Okay. But I think I think everyone has the Cardinals taking the division. Not necessarily, a lot of people have the Brewers taking it. Really? Yeah, well, not, not people, any Cubs. Those people are wrong. Okay. <coughs> Next is what, the NL West? Central. Or we Central. Said the Central. Oh, okay, then the West, yeah. The Rockies finishing last, then the Diamondbacks, okay. then the Giants, then the Padres and then the Dodgers. Okay, same thing. Says that, that the same thing as you? Yeah, it's the same thing. The Padres and the Dodgers are going to be very interesting as the yeah. season goes. I think it's going to come down to the last week of the season to figure that one out. Actually, I'm going to change mine. Whoa, I'm going to say okay. I'm going to have the Padres. They're going to win it because I think they're kind of similar to the White Sox to where they have something to prove here. 
I don't think the Dodgers are even gonna make it to the ALCS or the NLCS. Neither do I. I don't have them making okay. it. Okay, I, I don't think it. I think the Padres are gonna be the kings of the National League. I think the Padres. I don't even think. Or no, I do have them making it to the NLCS, but I have them losing to Atlanta. Atlanta. In the NLCS, and then I have Atlanta beating San Diego in the NLC, in the NL. Yes. Very, very bold, but... <laughs> okay, so NL East. Mm -hmm. I have the Marlins. This is from worst to first. The Marlins, the Phillies, the Nationals, okay. Atlanta, and then the Mets. I have the Mets winning the NL East. Okay. A lot of that is biased because... McCann. I'm a huge James McCann fan. I love James McCann. <laughs> I love that guy. And I think... Uh, but I think the Mets have made a lot of big moves this offseason. We, me and you were talking on the car right here. We, we, I think eventually, we were talking about Trout eventually going to some other team. And I had mentioned the Red Sox because he's going to want to win a title. And then you had mentioned the Mets. Mm -hmm. I think Trout will end up with the Mets in a couple of years. Yeah. And I think that once that happens, the Mets are going to win the World Series. I agree. The thing that sucks, though, is that the, the Marlins, they had a really good... Like, for the Marlins, they had a good year last year. Mm -hmm. But there's no way they're going to make it again, especially if it's not an expanded playoffs. Yeah. Because just look at that that division. It's stacked. You have, I get the Phillies aren't great, but you have an offense with Bryce Harper, JT Riamito, and Reese Hoskins finishing fourth in the division. That That's just insane. It'd be, I mean, the, the Phillies don't excite me at all. No, they don't the excite Marlins, me. The Marlins did last year, so maybe the Marlins will overtake the Phillies. I think that's going to be more. That's going to be an interesting thing to watch, as well as between the Mets and the Braves, who's going to win the division. Yeah, but just having two bottom feeders battling isn't as interesting, but it is pretty interesting. Everything's interesting to me. Good point. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to the American League. You're not going to like this one. So in the AL West, fifth place the Rangers, fourth place the Angels, third place the A's, second place I have the Mariners, and first place I have the Astros winning it. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me explain, okay? You like cheaters? No, I hate the Astros more than anything. Like, I can't stand them, but they still have Bregman who can still hit. Correa can still hit. He proved that. Uh, Correa might not end up staying in Houston. True. That's a very good point. But... If he stays... Right now, if he stays, the Astros will win it. They're outfield. They have Cole Tucker, who's very underrated. I forgot the guy's name, but he was the AL Rookie of the Year in 2019. Uh, he's an outfielder. He hit a ball in the third deck in Minute Maid Park, and it was an absolute bomb. And then, but the thing that gets me with the Astros is that last year they did not have Justin Verlander in that rotation because he was hurt. The thing that does scare me though is because Verlander is old and he's hurt, it scares me because he's older and he's going to be on a decline. But he has proved that he's not a player that declines quickly. I feel like so. Verlander was pitching when I was your age. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> he got drafted in what? Like 2007 or something? I don't know. It was, it's crazy. All right, let's move to the, let's start, let's go to the East. Just, you know, because of Central, the Sox, whatever. Uh, so I have the Orioles finishing in fifth. I do think they're going to have a solid year, though. I don't think they're going to lose 100 games like the regular Orioles will. Fourth, the Red Sox. Third place, the Rays. Second, the Blue Jays. And <laughs> first, the Yankees. What are your thoughts on that? Well, one? I kind of agree, actually, with the Rays because they lost. They lost Snell. They lost uh, yeah. Hunter Renfro, but he's not great anymore. But, like... The Rays, they do have star. No, nah, not they don't really star power. But I mean, not really. they, they yeah. I mean, they didn't last year, and they got to the World Series. Yeah, I mean, they did, but they, the payroll was nominal. Yeah, exactly. Like if you took the Dodgers payroll and you compared it with the the Rays, it's if insane. you look at what some of these like like Tatis just signed a deal that's going to pay him almost as much as all Tampa Bay's payroll last year. Yeah, I think there's another year. there's another one that compares it with Oakland and then some of the other teams that just don't make much money and they don't pelt sell or. or the way their players as much. Did I? I didn't do my AL West yet. I know we're going from league to league. We're not doing. Oh yeah, never mind. Sorry. All right, let's go to the Central. Uh, fifth place, I do have the Tigers, obviously. Fourth place, I have the Indians. Third, I have the Royals. <laughs> Two, I have the Twins, and I have the White Sox winning the division. And that changed because you've been you've been going back and forth between the White Sox and the Twins. I have been going back and forth, but ever since spring training started. <laughs> I've kind of just been seeing random stuff on the internet just like you know what this makes no sense what I'm saying right now because I've been seeing a lot of hype around Dylan Cease and I think if Cease is a good year the White Sox are gonna win the World Series I think that's what's gonna separate them I think he's the x-factor I think if Cease is the Dylan Cease of 2020 then the Sox aren't gonna win the World Series but I think if 
This guy is even top 10 in Cy Young voting. There's no one going to stop the Sox, especially in the postseason with yeah. that bullpen. AL West. So AL West. I have the Astros finishing last. Fuck okay. <laughs> no, for real, I have the, the Rangers finishing last. Okay. I have the Astros finishing second to last. So I'm going really? from worst to first. Yeah, because f*** the Astros. I have the, the Rangers, the Astros. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, let me give my explanation. Ra okay, as I have Rangers, Astros, the A's, okay, the Mariners, and the Angels. I'm gonna have the, have the Angels winning the AL West. Okay, so ours was completely different. <laughs> like, I've never seen a list that different before. So, <laughs> my explanation for having the Mariners at second is obviously if Kyle Lewis, they have some good young prospects that are probably gonna make a splash this year. And the other thing is, is that. I don't see how you could have, now I think about it, the Angels might be above the A's because the A's are losing so much. Right. They're, they're losing, they lost Marcus Semien, they lost Liam Hendricks, they, they're losing all those guys. It's just uh, Olsen and Chapman, that's literally all It's literally like the A's in Moneyball, where they yeah. lost, when they lost Giambi and Isringhausen. I'm a, and once the sub, when the Sox lost to the, to the A's, in the playoffs, I wanted the A's to win the whole thing. I've always had a soft spot for the A's, but they lost too many guys. And I just feel like, I don't know, something just tells me Seattle, I've always been a Mariners fan too. I just feel like the Angels are going to take it this year. I don't think they are. My explanation for that is they're pitching. That's that's all I have to say. And they, they, ha they don't have a solidified ace on the Angels, and they have zero bullpen. They just, that's the big problem with the Angels. And their their offense is going to be good just because of Mike Trout and Anthony Rendon and Shohei Otani, but they don't have any pitching, and that's the problem. That's what people said about the about the A's as well in 20, whenever the Moneyball year was. I mean, like, no, it was 2001. What would have been 2021? 2001, 2002? I don't so, yeah, know. Yeah, we like 20 years in between. I just feel like, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like that's what my gut's telling me. Okay. Is it backed up by any data? Probably not. That's just what my gut's telling me. The AL West kind of bores me. Yeah, it's a really boring <laughs> division. Okay, AL East. Baltimore, Tampa. I'm sorry. Baltimore, Boston, Tampa, Yankees, Blue Jays. Really? You have the Blue Jays Blue Jays winning it. the AL East. Really? I feel like too many people on the Yankees are... That's going to piss Sarah off. Too many people on the Yankees are too fragile. You have your... Aaron Judge. I get that. I think DJ LeMayhew, there's something weird when it took him so long to re-sign with the Yankees. I feel like, I don't know, there's something off there. The only reason that I even, okay, the reason I have the Yankees winning is because obviously Judge and Stanton are injury prone. Even if they do get hurt. Last year, you saw that the Yankees did last year even when they were hurt. Literally, a guy like Gary Sanchez last year, the guy he can't hit, he couldn't hit last year. Like, you can't even get much worse than that. He's There's only going up from there. Yeah, but you're talking about uh, uh, these older guys in the league. And last year, yeah, they they, they did all right, but that was a 60-game season. There's going to be 100 more games this year. But that's also more time for Judge and Stanton to get back. And then break again. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. I don't think that they're that... I mean, yeah, they are pretty injury-prone. But I don't think that they're just like you get back and you get hurt. I think... The Blue Aaron, Jays just seem like they're fired up. Okay, they are. The Blue Jays are a really good team. There's no taking away from that. They got Springer, they got Semyon, they got all these guys, and yeah. they were really good baseball. And they players. were already, they already were good. They had Bichette, Guerrero, uh, Kevon Biggio, like they have some really good players yeah. there. So yeah, I think I think the Blue Jays are going to take that. Okay, AL Central. Uh, they all know who's going to have winning it. <laughs> so it's going to go Detroit, Cleveland, Kansas City, Minnesota, White Sox. Okay, that's what I have. I agree with you. Yeah, I just think, I think the White Sox are gonna win a World Series. I, I, the thing is, is that the Sox have so many things that there are a couple players in the team that can be X factors, like Michael Kopech and Dylan Cease. Now that I think about it, Michael Kopech might be the biggest X factor for the White Sox. The White Sox are gonna win a World Series. I liked it. I like to hear it. Right now, I have them win the World Series. And you, pr you, you predicted the Dodgers last year. The year before, you had the Astros, and they almost won. 2018, who did I have? I don't remember. I had the Red Sox. I pricked the Red Sox in 18. But the year before that, I was completely wrong. So wrong about the Astros. Who needs to win the MVP? 
Uh, the AL MVP is going to be Luis Robert, and the NL MVP, I think, is going to be Freddie Freeman again. I like Freeman. I love that guy. He's a really good player. Yeah. I think the American League MVP is going to be Yon Moncada. Watch it happen. The guy... I'd love it. For, I'd love for it to happen. The So, 2019, he was... He got a couple MVP votes in 2019. And obviously last year wasn't good for him. But, like, you, if you watch, like, when he was playing and watch some interviews and stuff, like, he couldn't... Like, he's 25 years old and he's a professional baseball player. He was... Because of COVID, he was exhausted, like, the whole year. Yeah. I don't know. It... it he ended like a, the year pretty strong. Yeah, like it, it was remarkable that he was even able to hit 235 with six home runs. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't think he's fully recovered from, from COVID. I think I he's going to be solid. Who did I put money on for the MVPs? It was Mankata. Mankata, Abreu, and and, and, and Anderson. I think Eli's going to have a really big year, though. I think Eli's going to hit 50 home runs. Yeah, but MVP isn't... MVP is a more rounded. I know. I'm not saying Eli's going to win the MVP. I'm just saying that oh, Eli's yeah. going to hit 50 home runs. Their lineup's going to be stupid. It's going to be dumb. Yeah. And then there's the bullpen. Here's why I think the bullpen is going to be the best in baseball and why Tony La Russa is perfect with this bullpen. Tony La Russa is, in my opinion, the best manager to ever manage a bullpen, like ever. And literally, think about it. Michael Kopech is going to start in the bullpen. I That's probably what's going to happen. And... Okay, let's just say it's a playoff game. You have Lucas Giolito going six. One inning, you go to Aaron Bummer. The next inning, you go to Garrett Crochet, and if Crochet is not even, it's not one, two, three, who's your closer? Best relief pitcher in baseball, Liam Hendricks. And we said during the playoffs, we were, I was like, this is the guy we need because mm-hmm. he shut down the White Sox. He threw 50, he threw 50 pitches in back-to-back playoff games. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. And then it was funny because when he came over, he immediately got on the phone with Grandal and told him how he owned him. Yep. He's, <laughs> yep. He's like, this is why I owned you. I think I th- it was Grandal. I think Grandal hit a homer off him. That's what I, I, I might be confusing it, but I know Hendrix talked to some player. It was Jose, I think. Was it? I think and it was Jose. Like, was like this is this is how I, I had your number last year. But we were, while we were watching that series, I was like, this is the guy we need. Mm-hmm. And for me... That's what put it over the edge. Like, I had the White Sox winning the World Series last year as well. But... We'll have them winning the World Series in, like, 2032. No, they're going to... I They're going to end up being a dynasty team. I think in the 2020s... Bold. In the 2020s, they're going to win at least three World Series titles. I don't know when three in the 20s. I don't know if they're going to have a full-on dynasty, but... Well, winning, winning three in 10 years would be... I consider that a dynasty. You don't consider the Blackhawks a dynasty? The Hawks won three in five years. Well, when you look over 10 years, no, between 2010 and 2020, they won three. That's what I'm saying, over a 10-year period. Would you call the Giants a dynasty? Yeah, because the Giants won three championships in five years. So it's got four years, or five five seasons. Hawks won three I think if you win, I think in baseball, it's harder to win back-to-back or multiples in baseball. I disagree with that. What? Baseball playoffs are way shorter. How? What was the last team that repeated in ba- in baseball World Series? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because it was like over well, twenty well, years. The giant. Ago. Oh, the the Royals got in there twice in a row. Doesn't matter. So the Rangers. The, the Dodgers got in there twice in a row. So it doesn't matter. That's that's why it's so hard. True. I I still think the NHL is the hardest to win multiple in a row. Why? Why why not? There's four seven game series and it's just struggle yeah. to get there and yeah. like imagine playing all those hockey games like hockey is one of the most it like bangs up your body like crazy and like that's why i think i don't know yeah no i agree it's opinionated i don't know i agree but i just think i think with baseball too i know it's not physically as aggressive as, as hockey but there's how many games you play in a, in a hockey season 82 82 okay so it's almost double the playoff games are way more intense well, way more demanding. Well, I mean, it's a different... Hockey is more based on aggression or being aggressive. Mm-hmm. Baseball is more of a mental sport. And that's the thing, too. Over a 162-year or game season... Year period. You're going to have injuries, but you're also going to have mental yeah. exhaustion. Like, And think about all the like the, 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 the double headers of seven and 
any double headers that they're gonna have. All this stuff. Oh yeah. I just think repeating in in baseball is just. I mean, in, in any sport, it's tough unless you're the Bulls in the '90s, or yeah. even the, the Yankees in the in the late '90s. Um, it it's weird because the more I'm thinking about it, like you had the did the did the A's repeat? Did, did they won in '89? I, I don't know if they got to the World Series. Twice '88 was was '88 the uh, Dodgers? It was the Dodger. Was the Dodgers '84? No, I thought the A's repeated. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. I thought the A's repeated in the '80s. Because I know the Blue Jays did, and then the Yankees did. Okay, uh, 98 to 2000 Yankees, 92 to 93 Blue Jays. Uh, the Yankees, the Reds, the A's won in 72 to 74. Just three straight. Okay, so the so the A's did not repeat. The A's won um, in 89. That was the year of the earthquake. But oh yeah, they're within within the 90s. It kind of goes against what I was saying. Within the 90s, there were two baseball teams that repeated. Yeah, the Yankees and Blue Jays. But in the NHL, there were, like, Pittsburgh repeated a couple years ago. Detroit did it in the NHL. And then 80s, who was good in the 80s in the NHL? The range of the Islanders? Yeah, the Islanders did it. Islanders had a four-peat. The I Penguins think. did, didn't they? Penguins, yeah, the Penguins went back-to-back. Uh, the Penguins went two twice back-to-back. Uh, 92 and 93, and then 16 and 17. And then the Oilers did it, and the Rangers did it. I think the... I so mean, you wouldn't think if the, if the White Sox say they in in in, in a ten year time period they win three World Series but they contend the whole time because a dynasty to me is a team that's that, that's competing the whole time like you said the Giants were a dynasty but then the, the Giants years, yeah the years in between they weren't good so were the Giants so why would dynasty? that I would say no like you have to I think you have to compete even on those off years well, well did they not even make the playoffs yeah they made the playoffs that's not a dynasty to me so the years that the Hawks were in between, you don't think the Hawks were a playoff or a dynasty? The Hawks made the playoffs, but they were like the eight seed and they got like destroyed. Doesn't matter. They still made the playoffs. They still were contending. Yes. Yeah, and but grew, but I guess it's different because don't the because the NHL has they allow more teams in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I don't know. To me, a dy- when I think of a dynasty, I think of the Bulls. I think of the Bulls the, are a dynasty. The Yankees. I think of now uh, the Red Wings. The Red Wings. Oilers, the Islanders. The, the, the Patriot. The Patriots. Uh, yeah, or Tom Brady because Tom Brady is a dynasty. Tom Brady is a dynasty. That's so. Yeah, uh, the the um, the Lakers yeah. in the early two thousands. Lakers, the the the, uh, the Cowboys, the Cowboys. Yes, the Bills with losses in Super Bowl. They got they got their conference championship rings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but eh. But I think the White Sox are going to win at least three World Series. I agree. And with I you. think they're going to compete. And what I'm looking forward to the most is that really shutting up the idiot Cub fans. The idiot, not all. I'm not saying all Cub fans. I'm saying Facts. the idiot Cub fans. True. Because you can't when the when the White Sox win multiple championships over a couple of years, a few years, you can't talk shit anymore. Yeah, you just can't. You just can't unless the Cubs do it. But. That's not going to happen. Right now, that's not happening. No, it's not. Not even close. We weren't going to talk about the playoffs, but I guess we kind of did. Yeah. In a way. Well, I just said I, I, just said I had the White Sox. I had the White Sox and the uh, I had the White Sox and the Mets in the World Series. James McCann against the team that kind of screwed him. Wow. That's I'm, I think it'd be fun. bold. Do you think that's really going to happen? No, I don't think it's going <laughs> to happen. I'd like to see it happen. I think it's going to be the Padres and the White Sox. And I think the White Sox are going to take it. I think so, too. I have, I have Atlanta, but... I have the White Sox winning between 95 and 99 games. I don't think they're going to win 100. Yeah, I have them winning high 90s, maybe 100, maybe. I think the Padres or the Dodgers, one of the two, because they're going to be playing each other so much because they're in the same division. Yeah. I think one of them is going to hit at least 110 wins. I did too. I but think, I think if I had to pick one, I'd go with the Padres. I go with the Dodgers because they're champions right now. I think the Yankees are gonna not win 100 this year. I think the Braves will win 100. Dodgers will win 100, and the Sox might. They might. Maybe. But they're. It depends on where their slump happens. Yeah. I'm hoping their slump happens mid-season. Um, but they've been slumping more. Beginning around. and end. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. Yeah. And then. 
Hopefully the socks just. Hope the socks socks ab absolutely beep everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, yeah, that's all we got. Till next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>